How can I make sure that what I do as a physician demonstrates the love of God and the mercy of God and the hope of God? From an early point in my childhood, I can remember watching the first moon landing on a black and white TV and thinking, I want to do that job. Um, so I just pursued that and then was able to get into an aerospace medicine residency program to work for NASA as a flight surgeon, providing health care for the astronauts and their families. It really was a dream come true. But in many ways, my identity was not as a follower of Jesus Christ, but my identity had become, I'm a flight surgeon working for NASA. I really didn't think that I would leave NASA. God said, you need to make a choice. It was in our living room. I was saying to God, this job is cool, but I don't need it. I need you. Whatever you want to do, I'm ready. When he finally came to me and told me that this is what he felt called to do, I just said, I've been waiting. God moved us to the country of Uganda where we served for 12 and a half years. From there, moved south to Lesotho. And then God brought us to Kigoma Baptist Hospital, where we've been serving for the last seven years in Western Tanzania. It literally is at the end of the road because we're right on the Lake Tanganyika. God has placed us in an area that is predominantly Islamic. Healthcare in our part of the world, there is a great limitation on resources that are available. We have patients that are admitted with severe malaria, dysentery. Every year we have an outbreak of cholera. We don't have the adequate numbers of resources and personnel on the field to be able to meet all the needs. But we have partnerships with a number of different churches and on various levels. When a church comes in and partners with us to provide that kind of care, it literally changes the, the people's lives, both physically but also spiritually. Using healthcare strategies is like a key that opens the door to get into a village that we might not have access to. Not far outside of the town that we live in is a small village. Completely unreached on the fringes of town. We met with local leaders and we asked permission to come to that village and do a week-long medical dental eye clinic. Through that opportunity, God used that to start a new church plant. That village has been a huge impact. Growing in their faith in Jesus Christ and being discipled, just this past week, one person came and repented and said, no, I need this Jesus. The kingdom of light is coming in Tanzania, bursting through the darkness like we've never seen before. <laughs>